Take a look at the differences in the numbers. Look at the attack points. I think sinasabi natin na kay Bahan doon sa first set. Tight numbers, but in terms of attack points, dyan na mayagpag itong Arellano U. And that is also a testament to the kind of offense na meron. Maski maliliit, mas consistent, mas tama yung kanila mga atake. Kaya dyan tinamaan dito ang depensa ng UP. At pinakita rin ng Arellano at pinamalas yung kanilang masipag na floor defense at net defense. You're watching the Spikers Turf here on People's Television, and we hope you're enjoying the games. We are with you Mondays to Friday, 3.30 in the afternoon, and on Saturdays, 9.15 in the evening. Says Samantha, and Ronnie McSonic with Christelle Bachelor taking care of your game here. In the meantime, UP celebrating early, but um, you felt Avellano was a little more solid in that first set. Mas masipag, and I felt that the transition from uh, offense to defense was better compared to UP but magandang uh, senyales para sa fighting maroons scoring their first point off that uh, block in the meantime Soriano on Bilis. whisking it oh. against the block and scoring Soriano has been uh, a factor in the game so far late entry in the first set but was able to put in much of production's offense uh, ng Arellano here's the serve of Sorino that's long. Walang nasa harap ni Raymond, do hindi niya maibaon, no? At tignan natin if he will be more up to the task as the game goes along. Oh, Oo, oh, uh, parang masyadong maaga. Nilalagyan niya ng muscle, hindi kulang ng pitik tuloy. Nice touch. Nileta with a nice effort there, but it's muzzled. It is out. Pero yan ang bentahe dito ni Raymond, He's a very good net protector. As a result, UP ties this game in the second set of two all. That's why he's there, despite the fact Correct. that he's been struggling with his spikes. We're tied at two for set in case you just joined us. Picked up by Arellano at 25-21. No, net lift. Naging lift. He started with their service reception na hindi ganun kaayos. Mahirapan si Lozada na buhay yung second ball para sa Arellano. Adrian Tabanyag is our first referee up there in the perch. Second serve. Well done. Oh, Segovia saying, uh, telling Lozada, task mo konti. Better defense once again para dito sa UP. Try to take away that huge advantage ng Arellano in terms of uh, their attack points. Fighting Maroons. Sneak ahead by two. Easily handled. Balbuena. Oh, too long. Itong si Balbuena, yung Balbuena, yung binida natin kanina. Na MVP sa nakalipas na Philippine National Games na kung saan nagkampiyon ng UP Fighting Maroons. Soriano bungling the serve and UP now gains a two-point lead in you, 5-3 to three, with Valbuena all set to serve. Looked long, but Soriano was there. Lozada. Ah, Dalabas knocking it in. Very important for UP. To not only stay ahead of Arellano, but to try and sustain better defense and stay away from unforced errors. <laughs> Christian De La Paz has been aching for a clean hit. Finally got one in. Posada, Segovia ends up caught in the water. Miscommunication. That was nowhere near para kay Segovia. Uh, Segovia generated early points para sa Arellano. Misa nakalipas na first set, but in that, that last sequence, Nakita mo, take-off palang lunod na siya. Misread of the signal, hindi nagkaintindihan. No eye contact, a variety of reasons. De La Paz! He reminds me so much of John Dick de Guzman. Itong si De La Paz. Uh -huh. The way he elevates, the way he goes for his uh, wind-up. Goes to pass Y, goes to pass LDE for a happy family. Segovia. Miguel 
Segovia says, I pull it up. Go oh, ball. Speed lang ng ball eh. <laughs> Namatay sa mga daliri niya. Yung unforced errors ng Arellano, may nagiging susi para dito sa UP na perfectionan ang dalawang puntos na kalamangan. Same storyline that we saw uh, the first set. Uh, nalagang dikdikan patungo sa first technical timeout. Miguel. And UP is there first at the technical timeout. UP is showing some signs of recovering, but let's get a complete rundown first from Crystal Bachelor. Having only two players who graduated last season, Coach Melchor of UP still has an intact lineup. Despite this, one of the problems he noticed earlier is how his boys are too tense. Wala raw siya nakikita ng umingit eh. Kaya naman sabi niya sa kanya, kukulang dapat kayo normal ang pag-iingay niyo on court. Meanwhile, Arellano is succeeding so far in seeking redemption from UP, having won the first set. Sabi kasi ni Coach Sherwin kanina, gusto raw nilang makabawi because this is the same team which defeated them in a recent tournament. Hindi pa raw ma-determine ni Coach kung sino ba ang reliable key players niya, but he is having confidence on his two best players. Back to you guys. <laughs> so meron pa lang... Uh aks na kailangan na uh, i-settle itong uh, bawi na na ito, no? bawi 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 6-9 is the count here tight naman na itong uh, basa ni Coach Melchor sa kanyang mga sundalo mula sa diliman Valbuena Acuna the reverse oh nicely done down the line connection harder by Miguel to, harder to read if uh, Acuna does that to uh, makahanap ng variation sa kanyang uh, pagtitimon para dito sa UP Maroon's ahead by four. Against the block. There's a net touch. Called against Avellano. It becomes 11-6. Biggest lead para dito sa fighting Maroon's. Dating back to the first set. Now it's 11-6. We never saw this kind of cushion dito sa first set. Oh, no, indeed. Parang piano. It's too new, sir. Eh, diba? Nung uh, nakawala na yung Avellano, parang tuloy-tuloy na. Oh, and now... Arellano showing signs of wilting under the barrage of UP. Maroons have a six-point lead. Could be a case of overconfidence para dito sa UP in the first set. Arellano making sure that they grab that opportunity. While Mikasa is our official ball here despite the first set. It is into the net. Service error para dito kay Wendell Miguel ng UP. Rosada serve. That is blocked. Valbuena adjusts his working hand. Nice. That is out of reach. Coming from Raimundo. I think that Valbuena has been really marked itong depensa ng Arellano. Kaya kadalasan ang libre, itong si Raimundo. This time Raimundo manufacturing a uh, weak hand shot. Scoring off his left hand. Anim na muli ang abante dito ng UP. Trying to use other options you know, rather than just powering his way through. And that is outside. It is a seven point lead by UP. Mariano was looking for a check ball that was not given. And now it's time to listen in to the Hadi of Mariano. Fourteen to seven. Uh, some concern on the faces of the players of Arellano, but uh, the optimism you could feel it from uh, Sharon Meneses, and he said, "Oh boy, Ayan." The coach is not saying Ayan. It's just a bit Ayan. Ah, ah, net touch. Antenna. Uh, antenna, pa. Oh, combination. Which never came first, and now this is a. Oh, combination. Which never came first, and now this is a. 8-point cushion para dito sa kapunan ng Fighting Maroons. Unforced errors 
too many para dito sa Arellano here in the second set. They have not scored in a while. Finally, they do. Kasi nagsimula tayo dun sa first technical timeout at 8-5. Since that time, 7 points seven versus three. 3 para dito sa Arellano in the last 10 exchanges. Sarino into the net and the technical timeout is reached. UP is there again ahead. We shall be back with more of your Spikers Turf. Uh, when you can watch the Spikers Turf here on the People's Television. I'd like you to meet the family of Sam Damian, one of our players uh, from Mapua. And this is Santi, Pia, Kai, and Kim Damian. They are our ultra fun family of the game. And uh, that's uh, always special when your family joins you to watch you play games, you know? Saya yan. Siyang talo, andiyan si daddy para... Yung pakain. Pakain. <laughs> Pagka panalo, <laughs> ikaw, <laughs> ikaw magpakain yung player. Okay. Referee Adrian Tabanyag is talking to Lozada. Ah. Balik na kayo gagad pagka time out. Uh, si Adrian Tabanyag is a very orderly person. Yes, 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 yes. Ano yan, uh, very stickler for the rules yan. 16-8 ba? Ano nangyayari sa Arellano Rony palagay mo? Unforced error, Seb, at saka tinrabaho na ng UP to. They're defending better, they're moving better. And they're blocked. Defense. Oh, yeah. coverage is better. Oh, floor coverage is likewise uh, outstanding for them. And Valbena started to connect likewise. They're able to combine with Raimundo para sa opensa rito ng Fighting Maroons. 17 to 8 is the count. Raimundo all set to serve for all of you. De La Cruz, the libero. Hijack! Hijack! Parang walang mapuntahan. Wala, wala. Ang offense ng Arellano and somehow UP needed that set. The past first set. Para makilala itong Arellano at mabantayan, mamarkahan ang mga amador ng Arellano. Yung offense tuloy ng Arellano na buhay na bahay, buhay na first set. Wala, no? Na wala eh. Si Segovia, na check. Tama. Si Sar at si Sariano, Sariano, so. De La Paz, na huli. So, tingnan natin kung may bawi pa ito, Arellano. 9-18 ang magsaserve si Soriano at 9. Si Aliyak-Yak, na wala rin. Oh, to regalo! Soriano, huwag mong bibigyan ng gano'n. Ah, si Segovia, rather. Mabilis ang kamay nito. And UP needs to understand if there's one team that can string up consecutive points, Arellano, yan. Oh. Paglabas pa lang ng uh, almusal sa frying pan, nandun na si Segovia. Oh! oh. Sakit. Parang malibitaw niya sa bola. Ah. That completely, uh, yung kanilang momentum dissipated because of that service error. Kaya ko pang hina yun, ano, para sa kupunan na uh, nagawa ka nun ng defensive game. Ang tawag game. namin dyan, Seve, laglagbalikat. Laglagbalikat. Oh. There's no better term, I guess. Losada. Pinatasan sila sa kabila. Ocho pa rin ang labang. Narong foot itong si Luna. Sa kanyang tangka na mag-change direction, napakamot siya rin. Mabuti na lang. Malaki ang kanilang abante. Ultra Pass 5, Ultra Pass LT for a happy family. Yun yung wrong foot na sinasabi ni Ronnie Mugsano. Wala na nangyari. Wala ka na magawa. Hindi ka na makarecover. Ay, wala na. Mali na sapatos mo. Mali na ang galaw mo. Daryl Santo is in for the first time. Ang kasunod doon, natapilok na eh. Pag pinilit mo. Ah, pag na. Ano, lahat na rin. Oh. Okay. change of the libero position. Sometimes you have to make mistakes to be better. Yeah. John Miguel Nasol darting in. Long. Good read. Para dito kay Nasol. Santos second opportunity. Flying out. Eight point lead by the fighting Maroons. Sobrang laki seven. Soriano, Santo, Long, but there's a net touch. Miguel, the net is still shaking. Long, 
Here's Sigov, yes, serving from way back there. Miguel. Oh, boy. Good angle to work Difficult with. angle. Atoning, atoning for his earlier net violation. Pushes UP once again eight points ahead. And only four points away from tying this match at once at a piece. Madrigalejos. Listen, this is, I was about to say nice tongue twister name coming up. Madrigalejos. John Carlo Madrigalejos. Siguro ang hirap niyang isulat yung pangalan niya nung... Great watch siya. Siya. Oh, no? Ubus yung pad paper. Yung ilili niya mo, red, blue, red ba yun? Oo. Tapos yung tinuruan na ng tikit-tikit lang. Nako, nako. Oh, but he does it. Pero sir, marunong po ako. Oh. Ultra fast LG for a happy family with feet. At the 10 MBS monthly internet for as low as 999 pesos. At them by Arellano to freeze account. Let's listen in. Since the disappointment of Jerry Menezes, uh, he's coaching a team, a different team in the second set compared to the first set. It's a contrast of night and day. We talk about the performance, talk about the confidence level of the Chiefs. Regalo! But UP had a lot to do about this turnaround. Absolutely. Set. Started doing some psychological aspect of playing harder, defending better, and eventually it turns out uh, things turned around para sa kanila. This is a huge juggernaut for the fighting Maroons, 10 point lead, 23-13. Madrigalejos with his second serve. Trying to bring in UP closer, check ball, and they are closer. Now at set point. 11 set points for the fighting Maroons, showing us the fighting form that they exhibited in winning the gold medals of Philippine National Games. Which was somewhere left behind at home in that first set, uh -huh. you know? but now they've recovered it. That spirit definitely there here in the second set. Nicely done. Sharp attack. Nasol unable to handle that. Si Masada po maluron sa ba? Yeah. The La Paz. Nasol. Raimundo keeps it in play. Patay. Tapos. Miguel ending the run. So the University of the Philippines equally equalizing rather the set down that one apiece by taking this second set. The Spikers turn continues after these.